Something as simple as a cup of coffee will likely cost you more. Yeah, that's to account for. It costs more not only to like roast the beans, but then to physically get them here. Uh, and then, you know, we have to make the coffee, we have to buy the milk, which is now more expensive. What are we going to have for lunch today, guys? Um, Restaurant Canada says you could see prices in some spots go up by as much as 15% by the end of the year. But the restaurant industry, I kind of feel like sort of teetering on a knife's edge because <laughs> it, could, it could come crashing down really fast if something doesn't change, I think. And with inflation leading to a rise in costs everywhere, there is a certain level of shock for some restaurant goers. Holy crap, it takes me, um, you know, $30 just to eat lunch. Like, that's crazy. We're fully meal prepping just to kind of pinch our belts and save a few, few bucks. An all too familiar situation across the industry, but unavoidable for most. You know, when you look at uh, dairy up nearly 20%, beef 16%, cooking oil, uh, 20 percent. Uh, so there, there's been a, a lot of inflationary pressure. And then uh, people sometimes forget that we also use a lot of natural gas. I mean, we do have to cook and clean uh, dishes. So uh, our natural gas costs have gone up by about 22 percent. But those in the industry say that's still not being fully reflected in the new prices. Uh, really, our restaurants are not even passing on all of those inflationary costs to the customers, uh, where a lot of our members are trying to offer that value to their guests while they're making no money for themselves. And where they can, they say they'll continue to keep costs low. As much as possible, they're trying to be small, minute changes so that it's not really ruining anybody's day. But if the pattern continues, not just here, but in the entire restaurant industry, like we're going to be paying 10 bucks for a cup of coffee in two years if nothing changes. An option he says that just isn't sustainable. Zara Premji, CBC News, North Vancouver.